Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is April 24th of 2018. It's about 2.45 a.m. in the morning. And uh, this is just a little update on what's been going on around here. Uh, as you know, I've been... Um, by the way, here's... Let's see. Oops. Yeah, this is the front page of CNN. Uh, Barbara Bush uh, passed away. They had her funeral the other day. And now her husband uh, is in the intensive care unit and has septic. Uh, that's rough at his age. So they have the had the situation up in Toronto. I don't think there's a lot of information known yet. Uh, they caught the uh, shooter at the Waffle House. Um, a young black male there uh, took the rifle away from him very courageous thing to do and they're calling him a hero and he is I forget which um, training you know every year working security and as a police officer reserve police officer had to have training and uh, rep weapons retention and uh, all types of things and I can't remember if we did it every or we did the training at different training every year can't remember if in but they did show you how to take like a rifle away from somebody. But I never, I never had to face somebody with a rifle. Got shot at once, but uh, that was with a handgun. And I wasn't even off duty. I just got off duty and was a few hundred feet from the hospital. Uh, but that takes some balls to... Uh, Somebody has a assault weapon of some type and is firing any weapon, but firing an assault w rifle and to go up there and to uh, take it away from him. And thank God that that you know the count would have been higher. Anyway, they caught the um, suspect, and he is. He attempted to enter the White House uh, or the White House grounds or property or restricted restricted area a year or so ago. And they took his weapons away from him after that. Right now, uh, gun pro people are going, oh, they shouldn't have taken his guns away from him. He has a right to, you know. But... Uh, Nah, I take that back. Even NRA members <clears throat> and uh, other pro-gun people are going to say, uh, "Yeah, somebody should. Those persons, these people, should have the guns taken away from them, and shouldn't be allowed to get guns." But uh, and so I think it was about a year or so ago, maybe two. Uh, anyway, they took the guns away, and then he goes to a Waffle House and does that. And it turns out that his guns were taken away from him and his uh, concealed carry permit was, I guess, revoked and taken away from him. And because I know they said it was taken away from him. <laughs> but uh, he ended up with the guns back. His father went to the police and got the guns back. And people are saying, oh, the father should be in jail and, you know, all this type of stuff. Uh, well, one, when somebody, something like this, you know, the guy, I forget it. He said back, I think, when he tried to get into the restricted White House space that, uh, Elvis was stalking him, or something. not Elvis, but I forget who, somebody, TV star, movie star, I don't know. 
was stalking him. I think, you know, undoubtedly he has uh, major mental problems. For those of you outside the United States and for <laughs> my fellow Americans, um, especially the right wing, I think, here in the United States, they think that uh, people do horrendous crimes and that they get away with it by claiming um, that they're mentally ill and they just picture everybody walking. It is extremely rare for anybody to ever uh, get even a reduction in sentence or anything by claiming mental illness. Uh, because the way the law reads uh, and works here in the United States, you can be Jeffrey Dahmer who eats people. Uh, you can do the most horrendous things. And uh, if you, the way the legal system works, no matter how <laughs> Looney Tunes you are, if you... if they can prove that you're, or make the jury believe that uh, you knew what you were doing was wrong, you'll uh, probably die, be executed here in the United States, or at least spend the rest of your life in prison. And the way they uh, judge somebody's mental capacity, if, you know, if you... Uh, think that your entire family are uh, Satan's worshipers or that they're your alien monsters from outer space and your whatever and you kill them if you don't wait for the police to show up if you just leave or if you run okay it, he knew it was wrong he, he ran away he, he tried to hide that's it, <laughs> um, and it, it you know it works that it works that way. So, but people are saying that the and well, I'm not in favor, by the way, of gun taking people's guns away. I used to be an NRA member. I used to own some guns. Of course, working in security and uh, as a reserve police officer, I had to carry a you know carry a gun for 30 plus years every day uh, but I am in favor of uh, not being able to buy military type of weapons yes handguns uh, you know hunting rifles shotguns for no, hunting you know or for home defense a, hot, a shotgun for home defense uh, stuff like that but uh, and I, but I do want, and I've raved about that in the past in my blog, which my blog is no longer read by anybody, but, uh, because of Facebook and things like that, people are more interested in, <clears throat> and, uh, but, uh, I'm in favor of very strong background checks. Uh, the instant check should not happen. Well, the only way maybe an instant check should happen, you know, in a gun store, you go there. If you go there and they check you, and if you have purchased a weapon within, I don't know, six months or a year or something, or if you've been allowed to because you had a complete background check, okay. Now, of course, something could happen, you know, if you were checked six months ago, but it should, the check should be a, it shouldn't be a, you shouldn't be able to go and purchase a gun immediately. Maybe a hunting rifle, maybe a shotgun, but not a handgun. And uh, the background check should be complete. Uh, should take two or three days. The NRA and pro gun people have had. If you go to have purchase a weapon and you have this instant check, if the computer doesn't come back that you are approved or denied within, I don't know what the time limit is, X amount of time, then you get the weapon. 
uh, it's, the system is crazy. The NRA has been very smart, and pro-gun people have been very smart. They've passed what they could nationally, and they passed uh, uh, where you cannot sue a gun, gun store or a gun manufacturer. Uh, you can sue everybody else. You can sue uh, your lawyer. You can sue a doctor. You can sue a police officer. You can sue a, you can sue a nurse, uh, your relatives. Any you know you can sue anybody, but you can't sue uh, a gun dealer or a gun manufacturer. Now I'm sure if you went to uh, the AAA gun store in Michigan or someplace where there's ice and snow and they didn't shovel or do take due care with cleaning and making it safe for you to be able to walk into the place or if you even you know if it did rain outside or whatever and inside the floor was slipper than slippery than hell and you come in and fall on your ass and break something yeah you could I think I'm sure you could sue that way I'm hoping, you know, that you could sue that way, but you can't sue. Anyway, um, so anyway, I think the the, the uh, gun checks need to be really, com you know, really complete and good background checks. Um, and, you know, I think I've heard that most NRA members are, I agree, they want good background checks. Uh, but uh, there was a point I was getting to and I got sidetracked on it. Oh, the, uh, the other thing that the, the NRA and the pro-gun people have been very effective at and very smart to do it. I wish that they hadn't done it. I wish they weren't that smart. But what they've done is locally in the states and wherever they can, they've uh, passed laws to do everything they can to sabotage the system. States can't share information. Uh, you can't uh, deny someone a, uh, the ability to own a handgun or, or to own a weapon because they have post-traumatic stress disorder or they, they just passed all these type of laws. They've, here in Texas, you know, the schools and universities or whatever, you know, said uh, uh, this is a gun-free zone, you know, no uh, weapons are allowed. So here in Texas, they lowered, I think they had to lower, the, I think it was, they lowered it down to 18 years of age. And they said if, you, if an 18-year-old has, uh, a concealed weapons permit, which you can get, he can take it to, co you know, take it, take a gun to college, you know, with him. And they've done all that type of stuff, made it where, however they can do it, you can't pass information on. If information is collected, like you go, I don't know what the exact dates, times, and things are, but if you uh, purchase a gun or whatever, the data can only be kept a certain amount of time and just all types of things. So uh, anyway, they, we have this, oh, that's what I was getting at. Uh, this Waffle House shooter, his dad went to the police and said, I'm here to pick up my son's guns or whatever. And they gave all the weapons to, to him. Uh, four of them, and apparently he had all four of them. He left two, I think, at the shooting, and he was arrested later. But he had one handgun in his backpack or something. And people on TV that I've happened to switch by or watch or whatever or uh, have been saying, "Oh, the father should, I, you know, should go to jail. He should be, you know, obs obstruction of I don't know what they're saying, not obstruction of justice, but." And I've said to some people that I've talked to, I don't think there's a charge that they that he can be charged with. I don't think he broke a law. 
Now, I think that in a case in cases like this, the police take the weapons. When something happens, I think it, they, the police should be very reluctant to give them back to the person they've taken them from. You should have to go through some hoops. You should have to go to maybe this and the maybe the father did go to a judge, but you should have to uh, should just be you know hey it'd be an encouragement to the person out there who has a legal gun to hey don't screw up don't fuck up don't uh, be in Walmart and reaching for your billfold and have your gun go off don't and have all these different things you know happen. Don't do it because the police are going to take your concealed weapons permit. They're going to take your weapon. And I think they ought to take all your weapons, except maybe for, a, you know, shotgun and for hunting and whatever. But any handguns or whatever, take them. And then you have to go to court and uh, get down on your hands and knees and beg the judge, please, please give me back my gun. Uh but I think, too, now with hindsight, you know, they, I guess the police gave the guns to the father and said, hey, make sure you're crazy. I didn't say that, you know, make sure your crazy son doesn't get them. You're responsible. Make sure. I think there probably should be something brand new, which I don't think that anything exists like that. There should be a, a court order, you know, given to the father or whoever's picking up the guns. Or whoever's taking them. Well, I'm not sure they should even get them, but there should be a court order given to them saying, okay, you have to secure these weapons and make sure that, you know, your son does not have access to them anyway. If you give him these guns, the penalty will be, you know, violating this court order will be a year in prison and all your rights to own and have any type of weapon will be permanently, you know, you will not be able to own guns. That's a, a good way to get to these people who love their guns so much, you know, put the fear of God in them that that's going to happen. Should be, you know, the court order is given and acknowledged. Then there would be, you know, then, but I don't think this person, the father can... Uh, uh, probably be charged now. <laughs> oh, can he be sued? Oh, yeah. Anybody can be sued. Well, not the gun dealers and the, uh, but anybody can be sued. And he, I'm sure definitely somebody will sue him. And he may not have any money. But when you're sued, um, of course, I've never, I'm sure it happens, but I don't know. I've never. When you're sued, they, the court order can be, you know, you can be uh, barely having enough money to live on and uh, you get Social Security. I don't think they can touch Social Security, except for school loans they can. <laughs> uh, but I don't think they can actually touch Social Security. Um, but well, generally, if you have some money coming in, and you get sued. They can, you get paid every two weeks or once a month or whatever. The government can take, you can get a court order. You know, you sue and you win. Then you have to get a court order, you know, get a court order to, because the people aren't going to give you the money. So then you have to get a court order and, uh, telling how much you, you know, how much you have and they take it. So, you know, the dad could be 40 years old. Uh, maybe he has a good job. He could have to pay X amount of money out of his paycheck that he gets for the rest of his life. So the dad is going to be, but plus all, which I don't approve of, plus two, there's going to be all types of threats and harassment of the father there's when something when things like this happen no matter who it is no matter the circumstances 
uh, people should not be attacking the the parents, the grandparents, uh, that type. You know that type. If you want to hate on the person who did the bad thing, but don't call up the person's wife or grandmother or you know and threaten them. But people do because we see all the time. We hear about people tweeting against the president or in favor of the president or whatever it is or doing something and uh, people just harassing them. Um, let's see here. Changing the subject, um, and you probably hate this because I did it with camera. I do it with, I do it with everything. I uh, was telling you back in a video a short time ago that I was gonna gonna buy a 4K monitor. I don't have a 4K monitor or a 4K TV set. Um, so I've watched all the reviews on this particular 4K. Uh, well, actually, on a different one. But I watched all the videos about it. Uh, I think that's the one up. Um, uh, let's see. Well, now the price went up, so they're so close that I, I think it was this one. Yeah, the D fifty eight. Watched all the video. Well, the price went up on this. It was three hundred. Now it's three fifty. Um. I um, watched all the videos, and that was the one I was going with. Then I got to thinking, I have a wide, right now I have two 27-inch monitors, identical, Asus. But earlier today, I had my wide monitor back over here. And that just doesn't work out well. 27-inch monitor or a 29 or something. And then having the, for me, it doesn't work out that, that well. Um, but, but then I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with a 30, I think I'll go with a 34 inch ultra wide monitor because of the type of stuff that I do. It's great to be able to have two full size browsers or something on the screen, right there on the screen. And, uh, and then I paste back and forth. Well, not so much now, but when I was doing the, uh, blogging, that type of stuff, but even with YouTube, I, uh, by the way, uh, YouTube only pays you when you have earned $100. <laughs> I got 130 the other day, uh, but it took me th three or four months in order to get that. So you have to, uh, so I finally got it. So I usually, I spend more than that uh, for, for things every, you know, not more than 130, but I get about thirty dollars a month. I earn from these YouTube videos. A lot of my YouTube videos now, I'm um, not even turning on the ability to make money with them because then I uh, have to watch what I say if if I'm trying to earn money from them. Not really trying to, but it's just nice to have a few extra bucks coming in so you can do so you can do something so you don't feel like you're spending all of your money on your hobbies or your interest or whatever. But anyway, I was thinking of the uh, the ultra wide one 34 inch instead of the 25 inch, I think. And I looked at all, a bunch of YouTube videos and I thought that. But now today, you know, I think I'm going to go. I have never, I don't think I've ever seen 4K video. Of course, I can create, I've created some 4K video and put it on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, I don't have a 4K monitor to even see it. I mean, I can see it, but I'm not seeing it in 4K. Um, but I think I changed my mind. I think I want to go with... Uh, Now, which one is it again? Let's see. Okay, it's not this one. Uh, 
Okay, now I'm really confused which one of these it is because the prices are now. But uh, I think I'm going to go with the other. It's still an LG monitor, but I'm going to go with the... Uh, now, this is the wide one. This is the wide one. That's the problem. I didn't... I saved two. Yeah, okay. But anyway, I'm going to go with a different 4K that's a little more expensive. And it has a, a, an adjust... A stand is adjustable for height also. These LK monitors here, you can do the tilt, but you can't do the height. And I'm going to do the... I'm going to get this. So not sure when I'll get it. Because when it comes right down, I was very click, close to, you know, clicking and and I just can't bring myself to do it. It's a lot of money for me. So, um, this is my about page. Really, there's very little on there, just a few links or whatever, but it's jimhoward.blog. B L O G gets you there. So I'm going to update it a little bit, try to update it a little bit. Going to take off the education thing that looks kind of stupid having that. But um, breaking news Fort Worth. This is the local Fort Worth uh, newspaper. I haven't even read this thing here, but this uh, shooting, okay, the page <laughs> changed again. Um, okay, it changed again. They, there was a shooting just a few blocks from here. A woman was shot and... <clears throat> Outside the apartment, here it is. Quite often I hear gunshots, and other people do around here. There's that newsletter that is pretty a neighborhood-type newsletter. And so uh, then it sends out, you know, a daily email with the links and stuff. And so quite often you'll be... Uh, there'll be people m making a comment that they... And when I hear the gunshots at night, when I, you know, I usually try to write them down, the time and the number of shots, just in case it comes up as what time something happened, you know, or whatever. And I can't remember if I heard them this, on the, I don't think I did, but I did hear them the other day. I hear them quite often, gunshots. Off-duty Lake Worth officer involved in a fatal fight with neighbors. Uh, I had some dealing with the Lake Worth Police Department. I was not impressed. Oh, I was impressed. It's a very, must be about a square mile, very small community. And right next to Fort Worth or inside of Fort Worth, you know, Fort Worth is around it or whatever. It's a very small, <laughs> very small police, to, well, very small area, but they have a fantastic uh, uh, city hall pol police department, and they have nice cars and everything. I went to their, uh, I actually didn't have trouble with them. Somebody I know had trouble, had to go bail them out. Uh, and uh, I, I took the Uber there, and the driver was Iranian, I think. And on the way, I said, well, I'm uh, heading over to uh, Fort Worth. And I thought it was Fort Worth place I'm driving over or I'm going to bail a friend out and the uh, driver said oh Fort Worth Police Department they're excellent they are just great they're just wonderful people and I said yeah I agree 100% with you that I'm going to bail my friend out here and then 
when uh, luckily I got the because a friend didn't know who <laughs> you know who had arrested them. Uh, luckily I didn't because you know luckily I got the address. So when we when we pull into that area, he goes, "Oh no," he says, "He says this is not for." I said, "Yeah, I can see that from the sign." He says, "These police officers are." They're no good, he says. They're just terrible. Anyway, later I looked at their site, and the reason they have so much money is there are like a, a Walmart and major nice areas there, you know, businesses, and the income comes in. Anyway, I went to their site and looked at their list of officers and uh, their uh, – Things that they, you know, and it's all traffic, you know, all traffic stuff. A, a lot of traffic stops. Nothing, I almost, I didn't see anything else. Uh, so, but the, um, the officer that I saw when I got there who was at the desk, and of course he had some uh, police department clerks there too or whatever, but who's at the desk. He was really nice, and uh, I could tell he thought that uh, my friend who was arrested was, you know, didn't, you know, it was a really a bogus situation, embarrassing one. I, you know, it's one of those situations where, you know, when you're a police officer or something and you, you know, you can't say anything, but you're like, you know, Oh, my God, you know. Uh, so, anyway, it's, that's uh, Lake, what did I say it was? Lake Worth. I actually forgot it. I was going to do going to do a blog about it, and then I thought, no, they uh, might take it out on my acquaintance in the future or something. Uh, I did mention to another, somebody with another police agency here in this area, I mentioned the, and uh, he rolled his eyes or whatever. Oh, yeah, you know. Here it is. Uh, this happens just a few blocks away. This is West Fort Worth, and it's, um, by the way, uh, there's going to be an NRA convention in Dallas, and Yeti, oh, I took it out of the room. They make those really nice drinking containers and other. They make ice chests and all, they make all kinds of stuff. And the ahead of the NRA convention in Dallas, Yeti freezes its funds on guns, Cuts ties with the gun lobbyist. Uh, let's see. I just looked this up. I have an LX7. And, you know, I, I bought uh, FZ200 uh, Panasonic. Well, here's my X. Uh, should have turned my light on. Uh, this is my FZ200. And then you remember, if you watch my videos for months and months, I uh, talked about getting the G7, Panasonic G7. Because it's really fancy. It has it's loaded with things to uh, use. It's it's complicated. And I got you know I got it. I haven't read the way I should. Haven't read the documentation or looked up information. Um, you know now uh, thinking about it, this was the LX. This is the LX7. Doesn't do 4K. Then they came out with, I forget, the LX something. Now they're up to the LX10. You know what I should have done? I What I wish now I had done is 
not bought these other two cameras. I wish I had just gone to the LX10 here. It's as you can see, it's a point and shoot, you know, drop it in your pocket uh, camera. But I always like to have the bells and wind bells and whistles. <laughs> Um, if you're watching this video too, it's a little bit different. I'm, well, I'm running uh, Movidia, uh, the video suite recorder, which I've done in the past. But this time before I started this thing, I forgot to disable the uh, camera setting. I don't, I wonder if I can, if this will switch the camera setting. Hope I haven't stopped it. No. Anyway, well, I should have disabled it. Then I could have had, I could have switched back and forth between my two cameras here. Could have made my video larger and that type of, uh, that type of stuff. By the way, this recorded file is already, uh, it's 36 minutes and it's uh, 4.5 giga, gigabytes. So... But this is a really, uh, the LX7 that I have and the LX10, I'm sure, is uh, great. I wish I had gone with that, I think. Okay, the last, oh, come on here. I purchased this the other day, and I got it. This plugs into... Uh, USB 3.0 and then you can hook in you can do a number of things but you can hook in certain cameras uh, to it and go into the HDMI on the camera and then go into the HDMI on this the back of this and then you have so I would be able to use my cameras put them on a tripod or whatever, and use this and then use all the various settings, you know, that I have. But you have to, anyway, I, I could not get the FZ200 and the LX to work. Now, this thing, it, it showed, you know, found the drivers and uh, it works. And when I go to my settings for different uh, screen captures and that type of stuff, it even goes to, you know, you know, a black screen. It knows that it's there. But uh, I don't have, and I I don't know if this is, the others, you know, are standard size. This is a, I'm not sure if it's a mini uh, HDMI or a micro. I got to find that out. I have a ton of cables. Oh, my God. You know, like USB cable. That just USB cables is oh, a ton of them. I cannot find uh, HDMI to. I got HDMI to all kinds of things. Uh, I have HDMI switchers, all kinds of stuff. But I don't have. I got to find out uh, if this is a mini or a micro. I think this camera will work because it, uh, I remember talking a little bit and what I saw about it was that it would work in situations like that. It also does uh, Wi-Fi, I think, and Bluetooth and all kinds of stuff, but I think this will work. I just got to order the, uh, I should have ordered it. They would, it was like one of them, I should have ordered a micro US, Standard HDMI to micro, st uh, standard HDMI to mini, or just ordered one of each cable. And I, I should have, I would have it by now because it was uh, like $8 for each cable. And I have Prime, no shipping charges. Uh, it would be here in two days. But I hated to order, that's a small order with them and uh, waiting to send off for something else. So, so hopefully next time, 
that I make a video. I'll be able to use this device and we'll see how that works out. Okay, what I'm going to do, if, and you may not be interested, is I made with my... Um, okay, we're in Fort Worth. I think I actually put that video up on YouTube, I believe. But I'm going to put it at the end of this video. So it's uh, very short where I'm walking over to go to the mailbox. And it's a video in 4K with my G7. And this is... Am I going to make it to the mailbox without getting rained on? Or am I going to get... So I'm going to show these, and then I'm going to show you, uh, which I'm sure you haven't seen. Hey, we had a big rainstorm, and I'm going to show, add this. Big time here. rainstorm here. And then I'm going to show you um, some still images that I took. There's a nondescript, nothing fancy about this tree in, behind the apartment here. But quite often the sun comes between the buildings when it's, uh, when the sun is setting over in the west. And I think it looks attractive and I snapped a few pictures. So it's kind of a sample of, uh, but I didn't do anything fancy. I didn't even step outside. I just opened the sliding patio door and uh, took it quickly. I didn't step outside because I didn't have any pants on. So, anyway, I thank you very much for watching. I welcome your comments. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, we're in Fort Worth. Fort Worth, Texas. And it's getting ready to rain. Am I going to make it to the mailbox without getting rained on? Or am I going to get very wet? Big time rainstorm here in Fort Worth, Texas. It's raining outside. And it's raining inside. We've had a leak here in this apartment for years. They have worked several times to fix the leak and they haven't managed to fix it yet. Oh, that light is bright. Not sure how well that shows up. And it has been they have sort of cut down, they've cut down on this, that's a bulge there in the ceiling. You can see where they've cut out before I moved in here. 
years ago. They had cut out a section to try to get up there and do something. Anyway, hope the ceiling doesn't come down on us. <laughs>